वेलकम टू धारवाड वेलकम टू जोशी टूटोरियल्स माई सेल्फ मिस्टर श्रीकांत आर जोशी फ्रॉम जोशी टूटोरियल्स धारवाड फोर्थ क्रॉस मारमती वी हैव अवर ओन इंस्टीट्यूशन विच इज रनिंग सिंस फ्रॉम थर्टी फाइव ईयर्स इन कर्नाटक स्टेट we are teaching for standard 8th 9th and 10th and for vacation batch 10th standard kannada medium 10th standard state syllabus 10th standard central syllabus over 2000 students more than even every year every year i'm telling you they come for joshi tuition classes many of them have not got the seat remember without advertisement students are enquiring parents are enquiring about our tutorials this is how our name is there well wishers are there our students are everywhere else, everywhere let it be this is our very very short introduction we are good staff biology staff is there sanskrit sir is there dr joshi santosh is there for biology and nagraj patil for english and many other staff members managers administrator everybody is there remember within few days you people i mean present sslc students are going to face board examination on 19th and on 21st i think you have you are going to face objective questions means one question four answers all four answers seem to be same or sometimes two are confusing two are looking like they may be right one may be right two may uh, we think two are almost same it confuses if you have gone through the chapter properly understood the concepts properly remember you can choose directly the answers some answers are direct some answers are very direct very direct like say the general formula for alkane if you know this answer very well directly you go for marking that answer that is cnh2n+2 it does not require so much of time conscious mind it happens only when you see the book properly and our honorable minister education minister sri suresh kumar already told that questions will be very easy straight questions means you are very lucky students so to help all the students of karnataka state joshi tutorials has taken this major step what i am going to do is i give you the picture of two chapters first that is chemistry one is organic chemistry carbon and compounds and the one is a periodic table periodic classification here you you, you can see some eight questions from each chapter i can tackle 8 to 10 to discuss with you like this you have to study i am sure if you study like this i am quite sure that you will score more than 35 out of 40 i am sure it depends upon your efforts with this a small introduction about this dharwar city about this joshi tutorials let me go to the chapter called carbon and its compounds you must know 
In the chapter carbon comes, see the logic, carbon comes. Valency of carbon for tetravalency. Carbon undergoes catenation, number of chains. See the word catenation. It may come under objective questions. Allotropes of carbon. Three are there in the book. One is a graphite, diamond, fullerene. Out of these, one will be right. The correct question answer will be given. Remaining other three answers. Carbon valency is 4, 5, 3, 2. If you know tetra, 4 you can go for marking. 4, tetra valency. It undergoes isomerism. Next you are going to study single bond, double bond, triple bond. Sharing. After this you are going to study hydrocarbons. Carbon 1 to 10. Myth, it, prop, but, pent, hex, hept, octanon, deck. Basic, remember. Then you remember open chain compound. Then you go to alkane. Alkane means CnH2n plus 2. Methane, ethane, propane, up to decay. The end with ANE. Like that you go for another open chain, unsaturated. Alkene, ENE. Alkyne, YNE. Alkene, general formula you remember. CnH2n. I have not written on the board. Alkyne, CnH2n minus 2. First member of alkene is ethene. Methane does not come. You remember this. This is how you must remember the chapter. First member of alkyne, ethyne, not methyne. You will be confused. You are supposed to study up to deck. First member of alkane, methane. Then you fix it in the mind. For alkene, it is ethane. It starts with, for alkyne, it starts with ethyne. No methane, no methyne. Then you come across cyclo. Means close structure without double bonds, single bonds. Each carbon carrying two, uh, two hydrogen atoms. It starts, remember, when cyclo word comes, cycloalkanes, remember, it starts with three, cyclopropane. Means cyclomethane is not there, cycloethane is not there. See, this is how you must study. Are you understanding? This is how you must think of it. So I am going to give you the tricks how to remember. I am going to cover some 8 to 10 questions, not maximum. And you must go on studying about close ring structure, benzene. Having hexagonal structure, benzene. Then you are supposed to study addition reactions. Substitution reactions. One thing remember for addition reactions, the hydrocarbon must be double bond or triple bonds. Alkane will not go addition reaction. Methane that undergoes substitution reaction. And you are going to study about functional groups OH, alcohol. CHO, aldehyde, COOH, carboxylic acid, CL, chloro, halogens. So many things, five functional groups, you must remember. There are IUPAC in here. Further, ethyl alcohol and ethanoic acid. Property, this one, preparation and all that, they are not there. So in this way, you must know the concept of total chapter, carbon and its compounds. And from that chapter, I have selected from that chapter, I have selected eight questions. How they ask? See, the functional group of carboxylic acid. When word for carboxylic acid comes, it should be COOH. If you 
see the options. C O O H is not there. This one C O O H it is not there. Then where it is? Confusion takes place. C O O H is there in A. C O O H is there in C. C H O wrong answer. C O wrong answer. Now you are confused. See how they give the answers. It depends upon your talent. Now you are in between C and A. It is also C O O H. It is also C O O H. You will be confused. But if you know the valency of the carbon, valency of oxygen, valency of hydrogen, you will commit no mistakes. Then watch. Valency of carbon is 4. Tata. Agreed? Come. Carbon. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Anish. Wrong it is. Gone. 100% it must be the answer. So, answer for what you call first one is C. Why, sir? Carbon, 1, 2, 3, 4 bonds. Satisfied. Oxygen, 2, two bonds. Oxygen, 1, 2. This oxygen, 2 bonds. 1, 2. Hydrogen, single bond. 1. We are right. This is how you must study. I am giving you the hint, my dear students of Karnataka State. Second question, chloroform. Chloroform is not given in the text, but he has given the heading substitution reaction. Methane CH4 reacts with chlorine. It undergoes substitution. Four reactions. Go on removing H and Cl. H and Cl. H and Cl. First one you will get CH3Cl. CH3Cl with Cl2. CH2Cl2. CH2Cl2 you have to write. Plus Cl2. CHCl3. CHCl3 is called chloroform. It is there here. C. It is carbon tetrachloride. Final compound. CH3Cl, first compound. CH2Cl2, second compound. This is third, this is fourth. Substitution reaction. Remember, they may ask. The molecular formula of cyclopentane. Cyclo means closed, you must remember. Pent means five. Single bond, because it is A and E. Pent five, single bond. Closed structure, but each carbon atom carries two hydrogen atoms. So, C5H10. See where it is. Confusion. C5, 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 C5. See, all are having same carbon atoms. If you go through it, you will understand. See how questions will be asked. How students will be confused. The first member of alkene, it ends with E and E. Methene will not come. Next comes ethene. Direct answer. Where it is? It is here. Ethene. And here, which of the following contains double bond? Double bond means usually oxygen. You watch. Nitrogen is a triple bond. Chlorine is a single bond. Oxygen is a double bond. And hydrogen is single bond. So correct answer is double bond is C. Come to this. The IUPAC name of CH3, CH2, CH2OH. OH means alcohol. Alcohol ends with OL. You search where OL is. OL is only one here. Then you automatically don't think. Put the mark. But if there are two OLs, three OLs, then you think meth, it, pro. 
propenol. Propenol. This is how you must think. Now, when methane undergoes substitution reactions, the last compound obtained is, remember, CCl4. First compound obtained is CH3Cl here. First compound. Second compound is this. Third compound is this. Fourth compound is this. Remember. Then the benzene structure. See, all are closed hexagonal. You think that all are same. Which one? For which you have to mark. For which we have to mark the correct answer. You remember, benzene structure contains alternate single double single double alternate three double bonds. It will come double bond, but it is continuous. Wrong. Double bond, single bond, double correct single. There should be see here double single double double is not here. It is wrong. So two are wrong. See how you have to think. B. There is no question of double bonds. It is not sure. But Kekule, one of the famous chemists, told that even you can draw a ring structure, ring in the uh, example. You see, either it is a B or it is C. It is a closed ring, it is not a ring. So, correct option is C. Means, from this chapter, I have told some reactions. I mean, some uh, objective questions. Like that, you can prepare. For which I suggest, I suggest, everything else for you is textbook. Prescribed by government. You read thoroughly that, and use your logic. Use your logic. Suppose, one thing remember. Suppose, suppose, you are confused. You are unable to get the proper answer. You are in confused stage. Out of 40 questions, some 5 questions you are unable to solve. 35 you have solved. Remaining for you are unable to find the answers. You are unable to pick up the answers. You are in confused state. In such case, what to do? Remember, there is no negative marking. If your answer is wrong, they never reduce the marks. What to do then? Leave it. Leave it means, leave it to God. I mean to tell you, simply, choose any one of the options. A, whatever you wish, A. In my mind, in our side, it says C, you go for C. If you go for D, it depends upon you. This can be done by you only if you don't know. If the, say, it is better than to leave, you, leave the question. It is better to mark anyone instead of leaving the question. First, you attempt which you know. Second one, try to solve. Suppose you don't know, you are unable to un understand, or you are unable to pick up any answers, then just mark. Don't leave. Why? Sometimes if you are lucky, you may get one mark for the right answer. Your answer may be right also. For that purpose, please I request you people Read the concept of the chapter properly. This ends with a chapter called Carbon and its Compounds. Next, I go for Periodic Table. Now, as I told you, we move on to Periodic Table. That is, Periodic Classification of Elements. I want to give you the background. First one is Mendeleev's, uh, this one, Doverner's Law. He took three elements, increasing order of atomic mass. The middle one is the average of first and the third. Middle atomic mass is the 
एवरेज ऑफ फर्स्ट एंड द थर्ड सपोज इफ यू आर गिवन ए बी सी बी इज इक्वल टू ए प्लस सी बाई टू यू रिमेंबर दिस सेकेंड केम न्यूलैंड ऑफ ऑप्टिव फर्स्ट एंड द एट एलिमेंट आर हैविंग सेम केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज सिमिलरिटीज when they are written in the increasing order and then came mendeleev's it was purely based on atomic mass properties of the elements are the periodic functions of their atomic mass atomic mass it was explained by mendeleev remember periods horizontal rows columns Vertical columns groups. Remember, vertical columns are called the U options. Then mostly modern periodic clock, increasing order of atomic numbers: hydrogen one, helium two, lithium three, beryllium four, boron five, carbon six, nitrogen seven, oxygen eight. Fluorine nine, neon ten, sodium eleven, potassium sodium after that magnesium twelve, aluminium, silicon, phosphorus. I can tell minimum eighty elements in the increasing order, <coughs> more than eighty. There are some tricks, but they will not ask you all. But you must know at least some twenty-five to thirty where they lie. Main questions they ask usually from modern periodic table that is called increasing order of atomic numbers and properties you must know: atomic mass, atomic radius, valency, metallic character, non-metallic character. You must have some backgrounds. What is the say uh, general formula for maximum number of electrons in the orbit? Two n square. K two n square two electrons. L two square into two eight electrons. L m three uh, three square into nine nine to the eighteen. M contains eighteen. N three square nine uh, four square sixteen sixteen to the thirty two. Like that, you must know. <clears throat> so, please read the book thoroughly. With this introduction about the periodic table, let me enter into some questions which I have selected. I have more than hundred questions in that from that chapter, but all hundred cannot be shared. Uh, if you study like this, you can think of. The students, let us enter into the chapter. I mean. Objective questions. So watch carefully. The non-metallic character along that is down the group. In other day, what happens? What happens? Whether it decreases or decreases, or both, or no change. Remember, down the group you will get the metals in the periodic table. When you move from left to right, you will get non-metals, carbon. nitrogen oxygen there it ends with uh, inert gases helium neon argon krypton xenon radon zero group elements noble gases eighth group elements four names are there and remember general form of those is ns2 np6 i repeat ns2 np6 total is eight Except helium, but helium is completely satisfied. So that's why they have kept. Now they are not going to ask why they have kept the helium in the last group, because subjective questions are not there. Only objective questions. Now down the group, non-metallic character decreases because you will get to metals. So correct answer is A. according to the limitations of newland's law law of octaves 
it was valid up to what? Remember, it was valid up to calcium 40, atomic mass. So, magnesium, argon, phosphorus, now the answer correct is this. Because this comes under limitations. If you don't know, know it. Beryllium 4, magnesium 12. Beryllium 4 means electronic configuration 2, 2. Magnesium 12, 2, 8, 2. Beryllium 2, 2, last valence electrons are 2. In magnesium 2, 8, 2, last electrons are 2. So it comes under second group. You watch first, 18th, 17th, second. Correct answer is this. You must know balance. Chlorine 17, 2, 8, 7. You have to consider 2 and 8 also. 10 plus 7, 17th group. Halogens. Carbon, 14th group. I think you are understanding. Like that. 17th group of periodic table contains what? Only halogens. It is the answer. Because noble gases come under 18th. None of is there. But remember halogen is there means you cannot see or say none of these. Alkaline earth metal they come under here. First and second. Alkaline metal, alkaline earth metal. Second. But it is halogens. It is something. Now, which element comes under zero group element? Zero group means you must know the elements there. Helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, xenon. Here the answer is argon. It comes under first group. Hydrogen 1, sodium 11, 281, first group. Silicon 14, 284, 14 group. Next. Largest atomic radius in the following. Largest atomic radius means down the group. Down the group. Down the group means sodium is 11, magnesium is 12. They come side by side. After sodium, magnesium comes. Automatically among these two, highest one is sodium. Okay. Next comes. Potassium. Potassium is 19. 19 and calcium comes 20. 20 is after potassium. Potassium comes earlier to calcium. Magnesium is 12. After 12, potassium is 19. It comes under sodium. So down the group atomic size increases. So C is the right answer. See how you must think. That's why I told you, I am telling you, go through periodic table perfectly. Dear students, go through it. The number of vertical columns in the main periodic table. How many are there? First, second, uh, left side, two columns. S block. Right side, P, 6. Middle one, 10. Because it is asked the main modern periodic table. Main. So, 2, 6, 8, 8 plus 10, 18. Correct answer is 18. And modern periodic law of periodic table based on what? It is based on atomic number only. Properties of the elements are periodic functions of their atomic number. So atomic mass does not. And both A and B impossible. Two answers are not there. Here in this case, none of these is not there because atomic number is present. This is how you can look over. You can turn on your mind towards the chapter called periodic classification. Beautiful essay. Beautifully explained in the chapter, I mean in the book. Go through it, study properly. So I have covered here two chapters, remember. And these two chapters are carbon compounds, the big chapter. And another one is periodic classification of elements. The students, two more are there. One is acid-based salt and another one is metals and non-metals. I cover after this. And I think you all you like this video. Please share it to your friends. Subscribe for this. We go on giving you more informations. You go on giving 
subscriptions. Okay? I hope to help you people. Joshi is with you. Thank you very much.